Prosecutors have said they want to pursue the death penalty in the Marinero case, but with lawmakers voting to abolish it this session, that might not be a possibility. That's why supporters of the death penalty in Nebraska are ready to hit the streets in an effort to give it new life. KTV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki has the latest on a petition that you could see out circulating this weekend. Registered voters in Nebraska will soon get the opportunity to sign on to an effort that lets voters decide whether to keep the state's death penalty on the books. Friday afternoon, supporters of capital punishment, which current state treasurer and former attorney general Don Stenberger's co-chair, says they're ready to start gathering signatures. So that uh, all Nebraskans will have a chance to have their voice heard on this issue. The referendum would overturn LB 268. Last week, lawmakers Voting passed yes. a measure that repeals the death penalty, overriding Please. Governor Pete Ricketts' veto 30 to 19. <laughs> Supporters will need 57,000 signatures by the end of August to place the issue on the November 2016 ballot. 115,000 signatures will keep the repeal from going to effect before voters can decide. I feel pretty confident that we will obtain enough signatures to put the issue on the ballot. I'm not sure whether we will obtain enough to stay the effect of the law. I have to wonder if the average Nebraskan really wants to spend an incredible amount of money and effort on bringing back a penalty we weren't using before and won't be able to use for some time even if we do bring it back. Death penalty opponents hope voters will now take the time to study the facts, including the last execution in the state was nearly 20 years ago, and currently there are legal questions whether the state can even obtain the drugs to carry out a death sentence. This wasn't a rash decision by the legislature, it was a well studied decision. I don't think most Nebraskans see it as all that complicated. Stanberg says while he was Attorney General, there hadn't been an execution in the state in 30 years. After we'd done a couple, uh, we didn't hear that argument anymore. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. And to learn more about the death penalty, just go to KETV.com. We have links to both supporters and opponents of capital punishment there.